Imagine having the season of your life, only to be outshined by another player. Was the Ballon d'Or stolen from Vinicius Jr.? Let's break it down. Today, we're diving into the big debate, did Rodri really deserve this Ballon d'Or over Vinicius Jr.? Get ready, because we're about to tackle the stats, the stories, and yes, the emotions behind one of the most controversial decisions in recent football history. Okay then, let's discuss every segment one by one. Alright, let's talk about Vinicius Jr. I mean, this guy practically had electricity in his feet this season. Playing for Real Madrid, he's consistently proven he's one of the most dynamic players in the world, bringing both power and precision to the pitch. Beanie led his team with his fearless dribbling, and if you think dribbling's easy, try outrunning an entire defense with world-class speed and control. From Champions League knockouts to La Liga clutch moments, Beanie showed up when his team needed him most, scoring, assisting, and constantly breaking down the toughest defenses. Think about it, he's been a nightmare for defenders everywhere. I mean, at this point, defenders probably have a whole therapy group just for recovering from Vinny's moves. And let's look at the numbers. Vinny Jr. was in the top for assists and dribbles completed. These aren't just vanity stats. These stats prove he's a game changer, setting up goals and opportunities with precision and flair. So how could someone this impactful miss out on the Ballon d'Or? Now, let's look at Rotary. Some say he's a silent assassin on the pitch, a player who might not get the highlight reels. But without him, Manchester City wouldn't have won the these trophies. And think about that Premier League Super Cup, Club World Cup, and Euros. This is something that very few teams achieve and Rodri was instrumental in it. But here's the thing, Rodri doesn't play a flashy role. No stepovers, no dribbling down the sidelines. Instead, he's like the glue that holds City together. He controls the tempo, intercepts critical passes, and orchestrates plays from the center. And remember, Rodri scored the decisive goal in the Super Cup final. That's right, the goal that secured City's first ever Super Cup. If that's not clutch, I don't know what is. So, do we undervalue players like Rodri just because they aren't putting the ball in the net as often? Or did he deserve the spotlight this time around? So, was IT fair? Alright, here's where things get interesting. On one side, we have Vinicius, the player with raw attacking flair, known for dismantling defenses, stacking up goals, and giving fans those jaw-dropping moments. On the other side, Rodri, a master of control and a foundation for City's historic treble. Now, Vini's individual stats, goals, assists, dribbles completed are better than Rodri's. But Rodri's impact on his team's success is undeniable. Without him, City's treble run might not have happened. And that's the real question here. Do we value individual brilliance or do we reward the player who's indispensable to a team's historic achievement? It's almost like choosing between your favorite dessert and your favorite main course. They're both essential, but can you really pick just one? So here's the million dollar question. Did France football make the right choice? When you break it down, the Ballon d'Or is awarded to the player who has the greatest impact on their team and on football. And this season, Rodri's impact was hard to ignore. From midfield control to game-winning moments, he made history. But was Vini robbed? Maybe. Vini's performances gave us thrilling moments, but Rodri's season was about legacy. Without Rodri, City's dream might have stayed a dream. The Ballon d'Or had to recognize a season that could be remembered for decades. So was it fair? Let's just say it depends on what you value more individual magic or collective greatness. I personally think it was right decision. What do you think you can comment below? If you like this video, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel.